second. Guys, this place is run down out here. Right here on the left is where it's going to be. So go to the stop. It's got some. Take it's got some guys, our first look. The abandoned. Oh, funeral home. Oh my God. There's people. Oh, there's out people there. here. We can't go. Fuck. Yeah, we can. Are you, I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. Better go ask Captain Spaulding if we can get inside this <laughs> funeral home. This might be her funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> She's the boss. This is it, though. She's going to talk to that guy to see if she can't <laughs> get us into this. In the home, I got a feeling he's gonna say, Get the hell out of here. There's this truck right there. They seem to be storing cars and stuff here in this garage or in this parking lot. This guy's washing 18 wheelers. He was here when we pulled up to do our investigation, as you guys saw. Erica's trying to talk to him. Fingers crossed, you never know. Whoa, take a look, guys. The three crosses. What's going on, everyone? Charlie checking in. Hi, guys. Everybody checking in. <laughs> Traveling together with you all right here in beautiful Anson County, North Carolina. And a very bizarre spot Erica found for us. Bizarre. <laughs> Guys, we found another abandoned funeral home, McClendon Funeral Home, right here in Anson, North Carolina. And guys, this place is just devastating. We're about to do our walk through vlog for you guys. And I don't really know what else to say except, damn guys, take a look. <laughs> Starting off, coming through the gate, we have pictures of freaking babies. What is this? Oh my God. There are people lying. Bunch of pictures of just dead people laying in their caskets here, guys. And this place, we brought ourselves some masks and stuff because it is absolutely disgusting in here. But there's even a more disgusting story that's right here along uh, behind these walls that we're going to tell you as soon as we get in. I don't know. This is feeling kind of weird. We can't get in. You guys can see that that floor is fell in right there. So, um... I don't know, we just figure out a way to get in here. We got some people right here on the other side of the wall right here. We thought we were going to try to stop us from coming in, but they're actually just washing their vehicles. They said, uh, give them a holler <laughs> if, if, we need help. if we need help. So anyways, guys, oh my goodness. <laughs> Without further ado, this is the McClendon, abandoned McClendon Funeral Home here in Anson, North Carolina. Guys, I know that the intro felt a little choppy. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get down there intro felt a little choppy but i really I feel weird right now i don't know <laughs> what to say man i can't wait to tell you the story once wow, we get down okay. here well there's another house right there oh my god that's got to be a sample right let's just come out here and see what yeah the headstones we have to offer oh and there's a house right here guys all right which way are we going in we're going in this way straight through the front Smell it. <clears throat> oh my god. That freaking tiger scared the crap out of me just then. Guys, if you can see right here, the floor is falling through. And that is a good about six foot drop. Whoa. Look how absolutely disgusting. And this was the receiving room. Where are you coming from? Oh, oh man. Oh my goodness, guys. 
Here's a look. And somebody's been sleeping here. Same bed situated in the same area as last time. If there's anybody here, we are not trying to uh, disturb you. We are just here to explore this sad, sad place. And guys, look, I really should be wearing something. Look at the mold here. I can almost, I can almost taste it. The particles crunching on them. But look, man, this must be where they held the service. Yes, look, guys, we have ourselves a pulpit right here. And we have the... <coughs> Oh my God, there's somebody's ashes. There's more ashes, guys. Yep. Preston McRae. Jeez. Guys, this really pisses me the fuck off, guys. And I'm going to tell you the story here in just a second. Once we get to this back room, there is a disgusting, disgusting, sinister story. Something that happened here back in 2012. What are you looking at? Just, um... Oh, some people's, somebody's belongings... Oh my God, guys, I need a flashlight. Let me get a light. Oh my goodness, guys. Here, that's not good. Where's that? Uh... Oh my goodness, guys. Absolute decay and ruin. The walls are just warped. And I am so afraid of falling through this floor, guys. This door is block, locked right here. Oh my God, I found it. Guys, I found, oh, the, God. found the table. You gotta get out that uh the GoPro and get oh, it going. Oh look right here. Oh my god, that's like some weird macabre. Oh my god. That's some kind of centrifuge or something that they would pump out. Yeah, that's the embalming, that's the um embalming machine. They would let Oh fuck, dude. And look, here's just bags of the damn biohazardous chemicals. Another picture of a body over here, guys. This place is absolutely disgusting. I'm not, I can't believe I'm not wearing anything. Oh my goodness. Different various tools of the trade. Guys, I really hope I don't fall through the floor here because I really need to Get through this door right here. There's all kinds of stretchers. Yeah, we are stretched out back here. Employees only. Oh my god, a fucking casket. That's where the guy was at. Dude, it's a motherfucking casket. Oh my god. Guys. I bet his head was on here. This is a motherfucking casket right here. Okay, so while I am here with this fucking casket right behind me, tell you guys the story. Back in 2012, a woman would be charged after one of uh, um, one of her the family members' bodies was not recovered. Um, said that she was going to cremate the body. The body was never recovered. She was arrested. They came and they checked this place out in 2012. They found three bodies. They found two bodies. Oh, she's about to fall right into the damn <laughs> casket. They did not discover a third body. Um, the, the case went on for two years. In 2014, she was charged with um, um, 
um, obtaining property under false pretenses, charged, sentenced six to 17 months in federal prison and forced to show people where the bodies, where she kept the body at, you know, because she would not tell them where the body was for two years. After two years, she came back here. She was forced to do her sentence. She came back here and showed them. She brought them right back to this room right here. And inside this casket right here, guys, wrapped up like a mummy in cloth. And, and, and linens and plastic wrapping was there um, a family loved one that had been been here for almost two years and then not only that but they said that also in plain sight probably in that room we just came out of right over there another body. was another body that was open and they said that both bodies were so badly decomposed that they did not know um, you know who was who um, they said that she had been uh, the con this place has been condemned since 2012 and they said that um, uh, more bodies, they were determining whether the bodies were brought in here after. Because she was charged in 2012, but she was still practicing all the way up until 2014 when she, um, when she was convicted. And, yep, they found two more bodies in here. So, a grand total of um, uh, five bodies. <laughs> that the family paid to have cremated. Have and paid to said, have cremated. I'm just going to... Keep the cremation fees and just store them over here. And just here. store them over here. You know, oh my God, this is one of the most disgusting things. Yeah. Oh my fucking God, guys. Look. GoPro, start recording. Oh, guys. My feet are just sinking into this crap. Are there any spirits here? That are angry. Are there any spirits here that are angry that their bodies were not taken proper care of? Oh God. That leads right back out to the fallen out area. Guys, this was the office. Oh my goodness. So disgusting. Oh, look, somebody's clothes are hung up right there. Hung up with care. Knowing that the health department soon would be there. Oh my goodness. So I don't really th feel safe walking into this room right here. Because like I say, back over here is the entrance where uh, it is caved in a good eight feet. But my God, guys. There's a freaking casket right here and you know what is even sad is just like that uh, abandoned um funeral home in chester south carolina that we saw uh these people are still in business today guys they are in ellerby north carolina uh operating under a different family name but still mcclendon funeral home just a uh, son and probably daughter-in-law or something but one, Miss Mary McClendon, uh, her name is not on the staff registry. I checked, just to be sure. But, oh my goodness. This place is the absolute worst, guys. That's death stains. Holy shit balls, this is disgusting. I can almost taste it. Uh look to your left. Out there. Ooh, some paperwork, life insurance. And wow. Oh look, that's her favorite Polaroid camera. Oh wow. She get like a Polaroid picture. She loves taking pictures. Uh with Pete Shillow with Pete's Pete's, Pete's, oh my God. Sheets, Pillows, Filmo. Oh, I can't even do it. You know the Eminem song? Pete's, she, Sheets, Pillows, Mildew, and Film You? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a basement. Oh, oh shoot. My Something God. just dripped on the back of my neck. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that is colorful. I, that might be somebody else up there. Guys. Am I going down into the basement? Oh my god. These stairs feel pretty sturdy. Whew. 
Oh my god. Mm. <coughs> okay, guys. Oh my god, Charlie, what if they didn't find everybody and there's some. Don't you do me like that. <laughs> That's one another thing, guys. It was so crazy. They said that they found two bodies in 2012. And the other body was right upstairs above us in a freaking casket. And they didn't find the body for almost two years. She had to come back and point them out where the body was at. And then not only that, there was another body right there in the open, which they said um, was probably put there um, after 2012, the initial, after the initial uh, investigation began. But very well, who knows? There could be another body around here somewhere, guys. There's a Shit. F and M McClendon. They still got some of their emblems here, guys. Take a look. Do not trust F and M McClendon. Oh, and look. Oh, my goodness. You guys really can't see much, but you are checking out my face from the light of the fallen floor above. We came in right there. Wow. And it is Dank under here. Oh my goodness. See, she's wearing a mask. I'm wearing two. She's wearing two. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing not going to be with you guys much longer. I'm wearing yours. <laughs> 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 Are you okay? <laughs> I was like, eh. I swear to God, that's almost like a demonic possession. Oh God, oh God, God. God, I had an exorcism moment for a second there. Something came over me, I had to get that out. Guys, look how dark it is. And Erica wants to investigate something. Oh, what you got for us? Ooh. Something wrapped up in the in this bag over here. Oh my god, look at that freaking not a body <laughs> thank god i don't want this to be a stand by me moment when we find another body <laughs> taste it oh god what's that <laughs> guys this is ridiculously scary out here and danky and nasty <laughs> Bunch of bullshit. Yeah, books and papers. Kicking up a whole bunch of mold spores. I gotta get out of here. Oh god. Okay. So that was it for the basement from hell. Let's get back up this damn thing. Much, much uh, love and shout out to Jake Explorers. Um. Yes. Jake Explorers YouTube guys, check him out. He's the one that we saw this video from. Oh my god, I'm about to fall off. Oh my god. And back up we go to this disgusting area again. This is where Erica wants to play for a minute, I'm pretty sure, huh? Uh, Guys, oh my God. I can't believe there are pictures of dead bodies in here. Oh my God, let me get through here. Oh God. Back here to the processing, processing room. Oh my God, this is the absolutely most disgusting. I thought that one in Chester was disgusting. This right here takes the cake.
Oh, God. Ugh. All right, guys, we are leaving the processing room finally. Oh, about to wrap up this investigation, guys. Yes, 2010. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like I said, they would close, they would condemn the place and close the doors in 2012. Want to add to your CD collection? What's she at? But she would continue operating until she would be convicted in 2014, which then they would find more bodies. Total of five bodies, house of five corpses here. Oh my God. And can you just imagine the person that sleeps right there? I ain't sleeping too well. I'm probably coughing like me right now. <clears throat> I've been sick. So hopefully <laughs> this doesn't make me any thicker. Oh, guys, this is absolutely, truly disgusting. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Wow. Mm. Do All right, so that's it. We're going to go ahead and end it right here. I'm about to walk back out here and grab my, uh, my ghost box. Any of you guys are interested in the paranormal, we're going to try to do an EVP session. I know uh, if anywhere, then, you know, this place would be it, man. The way that they'd uh, abuse these people and the bodies and stuff. If I'm going to catch anything, it probably will be here, you know. <laughs> so, baby, you found a good one. This was crazy, man. A crazy oh, man. hell of a explorer, you know. I already feel like I'm growing a third arm out of my neck or something because of it. <laughs> so, anyways, guys. If you're in the area, check it out. And I'm glad we got to explore this, man. There are people out there. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it, but we got it. Right. Good deal. <laughs> Thank you all, guys. Love you so much. You Wolf don't want to touch that. Travels together. Yeah. And like, subscribe. All that good stuff. We'll watch you next time. Yes. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>